There is an economic storm sweeping the country that you can't see or feel unless you're in it. As of today, courts are able to process evictions for renters and protections for homeowners with federally backed mortgages also ended. Going in depth today, Fox 13's Max Roth joins us with a look at the information available for how big the storm is in Utah. Max. Yeah, Bob and Kelly, thank you. You know, and, and using that storm analogy, evictions and foreclosures are kind of like those dry lightning storms we have, more like lightning than rain. If you are struck, you're in trouble. Otherwise, you might not realize someone was hurt. Officially, evictions go through courts, and the numbers we have in Utah are telling. We took all eviction filings in Utah in the last week of June and the last week in July, in non-moratorium 2019 and this summer. These bars show just how many cases were filed. And you can see that this June and July, cases haven't been filed at a pre-pandemic pace yet. That is sure to change. But we also can see how many judgments have been rendered in those same weeks, meaning a court has made a decision. In 2019, courts passed judgment on about half the number of cases filed. In June this year, Courts came to seven decisions in the last week of June and one in July because courts were only evicting people for serious breaches, not for lack of payment. Now to foreclosures with a lot more numbers available. In June of 2019, the FHA reported between 900 and 1,000 Utahns at least 90 days behind in payments on FHA-backed loans. In June this year, that number was well over 6,000. Just about every corner of the state has FHA borrowers in trouble. Though following national trends, Utah's two most diverse large counties, Salt Lake and Weber, also have the most struggling borrowers. The FHA does not list numbers in counties with fewer than 100 borrowers. So those numbers are specifically for FHA-backed loans. Those are the most, most often first-time homeowners, a large proportion of people struggling to pay, but it is hardly the whole picture. Now, things to keep in mind. You can talk to your mortgage company about forbearance. Some people with forbearance, they have through September or longer before they're really at threat here. If you have not explored that yet, now you can still do that. For renters, assistance is still available for those who qualify, and we'll connect you to that from this story on fox13now.com.